Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and wait till I pull out this awesome knife from this little sheath I have right here. Um, this is a beautiful knife, as you can tell by the four pictures I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, it's a case knife. It's a case rust lock. And this is a case rust lock in dark molasses bone, saw cut, jig, rust lock. It is the number 61953 is a model number and a half. And this is going to have a drop point blade. Check this beauty out. Now, if you guys are not familiar with rust lock knives, um, when these first came out several years ago, I think uh, the first time I saw these was about 15, 20 years ago, they came with a clip point blade. And it's a beautiful clip point blade. Uh, I bought one several years ago, but it just seemed like the blade itself was a little bit too narrow on the end, so I didn't like it a whole lot, so I ended up selling it right back on eBay. But then this model came out, and ever since this model came out, I always wanted one of these. But first, let's check out that saw cut bone right there. Look at that beautiful saw cut bone. Nice. The wonderful thing about these rust locks, well, first of all, it's a case. So check out the fit and finish. It's just beautiful on this knife. Rust lock knives have this lever right here which is really cool. It's a very attractive style, uh, but I find that it's very hard for me, uh, my hand size, to open. So this is another reason why I sold that original one back that I had many years ago. I think it was Blue Bone. And uh, this, you know, once I get it to that, I have to do a second motion with another finger to unlock it. But once you unlock it, look at that. I mean, how's that for a beautiful knife right there? I mean, when they came out with that draw point, I just said to myself at some point, self, you're going to end up eventually having to get one of these. And then I have this sheath that I bought at uh, uh, a flea market in San Antonio. It's the farmer's market, I believe, that they have in San Antonio. Uh, a friend of mine, Ben, has a stand there and he makes these sheaths. I have a different video on that where I provided a, a, some information of Ben's. And he made this beautiful sheath. And I always thought, you know, this sheath would go perfectly with a knife like this, a rust lock. And it does, in my opinion. But check out that mirror finish. Ha. Ha. You know. So anyway, um, love this knife. I wanted to share it with you guys. wanted to show you what it looked like. This is a case rust lock. It's also a liner lock, as you can see. So let's push that in. Not too hard to push it in. Let's close it. It's got a very smooth snap, very light but smooth, but still it engages well. This is a very clean knife. This is the way I got it. I will be using this knife. Uh, this knife will go in my sheath and I will be carrying it in style in that beautiful sheath. And let me show you what that looks like again. So that's just going to go perfectly right in there. It's just as if this particular sheath was made for that knife. So this is the case rust lock in molasses bone, and it's a saw cut bone. Wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, these are out there. How much did I pay? I actually sold a couple of knives to make this purchase. Um, I paid sixty-three dollars, and that was including shipping for this knife. But. Uh, they're very available. I think it's one of the better types of knives that Case makes. Uh, it's a very unique style of knife. Um, I plan on very much enjoying this knife. And I recommend it to you guys. Especially that drop point blade. Let's get, get another closer look at that drop point blade. This sheath holds it really snugly. Again, I'm probably going to have to two-hand this because my hands are just a little bit too big to do that comfortably. But check that out. Check out the lines on that drop point blade. Pretty good, huh? So then up close up here, it says case double X USA 61953 and a half. And then it says stainless steel L tested XX. There's some light jimping up here. This jimping is actually kind of smooth. It's not very rough. Um, it does have some function, but it does help you to hold on to the knife. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. 
Okay, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, once again, this has been the Knife Detector saying God bless you and keep your knives sharp and keep your wits even sharper, my friends.